Paulus letta tois hagios tois usin en epressoia. Chapter 5 Be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving each other, even as the God also, through anointed, forgave you. Be ye therefore imitators of the God, as beloved children, and walk in mindful love, just as also the anointed loved us, and gave himself up for us, an offering and a sacrifice to the God, for an aroma of a sweet smell. But sexual sin, and all uncleanness, or covetousness, let it not even be named among you, just as is appropriate for holy ones, nor shamefulness, nor foolish talking, or jesting, which are not befitting, but rather giving of thanks. For this be ye knowing, knowing that no sexual sinner, nor unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater, hath any inheritance in the kingdom of the anointed and of God. Let no man be deceiving you with empty words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of the God upon the sons of the disobedience. Be not ye therefore fellow-takers with them. For ye were being once darkness, but are now light in the Lord. Be ye walking as children of light, for the fruit of the light is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is well-pleasing to Lord Yahweh. And don't be ye co-partnering in the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather be ye rebuking also. For the things secretly coming into being by them are shameful even to be saying. But all the things when being rebuked are being made to appear by the light, for everything being made to appear is light. For what reason he is saying, Be thou awakening, O sleeping one, and arise thou out of the dead ones, and the anointed shall shine upon thee. Be ye looking therefore accurately how ye are walking, not as unwise, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Through this don't be ye becoming foolish, but be ye understanding what the will of the Lord is. And don't be ye becoming drunk with wine, wherein is incorrigibility, but be ye being filled with spirit, speaking one to another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody with your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things in the name of our Lord Yeshua anointed to the God and Father, subjecting yourselves one to another in the fear of anointed the women being subjected to their own men, as to the Lord. For man is head of the woman, as the anointed is head of the assembly, being himself saviour of the body. But as the assembly is subject to the anointed, in this way also the women to the men in everything. The men be ye mindfully loving the women, even as the anointed also mindfully loved the assembly, and gave himself up for it, so that he might sanctify it, having cleansed it by the washing of the water with the word, so that he might present the assembly to himself a glorious assembly, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but so that it should be holy and without blemish. In this way, the men are obligated to be loving their own women as their own bodies. The man loving his own woman is loving himself. For no man ever hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, just as the anointed also the assembly. 
because we are members of his body. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave to the woman, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is great, but I am speaking in regard of anointed and of the assembly. Nevertheless, also ye individually, let each man be mindfully loving his own woman, thus as himself, and the woman ensure that she be fearing the man.